yes, peace, bless the beat, yo. You can say I know, but I don't give a fuck. Your man took his chance, but now I guess he's out of luck. Cause he slipped up and now. I, I really, like, I, I kind of haven't decided on another project or anything. I, I really just wanted to, like, do gigs and get, like, the aspect of, like, me right, like being able to do a mean live show and um, just videos as well and features. I'm real keen to do features, they just like connect with a lot of people, see what's going on. Um, I am gonna change my artist name though later on in the year, so when that happens, then I'll put stuff up. What's, um, what's the reason behind the change? We won't ask you what it's gonna yeah. be, but you know, <laughs> what's the reason behind the change? Um, I think just to show like self progression I guess because DGK is a pretty childish name <laughs> now it, it wasn't like the story behind DGK was that's what like people used to call me as a joke before I even started making music and when I started making music making music was just for fun mm. so I was like oh whatever just DGK I can't be bothered thinking of anything else my name's too long to put it there so I was like sweet and then um after a while I realized that like I wanted to create my own brand, especially if I'm gonna pursue like music, not if like not just rapping, but everything. Like I wanted something that was like my own brand, and that showed the like progression as well. So yeah, that's what the name shows. I I think that meeting more people in the industry has shown me that you can in New Zealand like create a career for yourself in music whether it be through making videos like mixing producing making me like as an artist yourself um, and also just like the fact that uh, I used to always think that you know I need to get a job but then I realized that I don't really care I just want to make music so I'm not I'm not gonna get a job if it's not what I want to do so that's pretty much it just yeah. Make music. but yeah like I think that probably this year specifically, if I could single out a certain point in time, the beginning of this year, I met a lot of people that were like that kind of convinced me that you know I should keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. And like you know, with the kind of support that you got, it like has yeah. that also influenced how much music you do, or is it all kind of self motivation? It depends. It depends because. Sometimes I hear a song, like when I first heard I Nef's Mary Jordan, I was like, I'm not rapping anymore. I was like, fuck this, I can't make music like this. But then it's kind of like that first initial phase that like everybody has their own lane and their own like element. And I, I, I could never make music like I Nef, but I Nef could never make music like me because it's different. Like, so like the problem with New Zealand was just everyone kind of was kind of like selfish in the in the past and everybody there was like a certain amount of people that were famous or well like when you thought of New Zealand hip hop you only thought of a certain amount of people but with our generation coming out now it's like a broad like tidal wave you could say of people coming up so I, I want to be like when people think of that they want to I want them to say like oh, I'm just blind about temptation. The devil took Hitler. What the fuck does he want from me? Um, man, it's hard to single out people mm -hmm. because a lot of people have been real awesome. I think there's a way of saying, like, I don't know. I reckon J Knight, because, like, he's the one that kind of, like, he actually kind of motivated me when I was really just playing around with my tape. And he's like, bro, like, take it seriously, you know? And um, Tony Douglas as well, because he makes really good beats. <laughs> I think that, I think also Diaz Grimm, because just his attitude and the way he like holds himself and holds other people in such a positive light is like real motivating. So. I've already explained this one, but I'll, I'll explain it again. Is I I fell in love with hip hop when I found LimeWire. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> that's what happened. LimeWire. I still remember the first hip hop song I heard was that that butterfly one. I forgot what it's called. Do you remember that one? How does it go? 
come out there, they come out. Yes! I, that was like probably them and Linkin Park were the first hip hop songs I heard. And then when I, when my parents went away on holiday, my grandparents were looking after me. Found it, like lime wire, and I was like 50 cent, 50 cent. So yeah, shout out to G Unit. <laughs>